been speedrunning for? Uh, probably a few months now. And uh, what's your personal best time? I've got a sub-21. Do you or do you not believe that Dream cheated in his 1.16 runs? He's not going to hear this, is he? No, no, no. Nobody's going to see this. This is just for me. Dream, one of Minecraft's largest and fastest growing content creators. Dream is widely considered to be a Minecraft god, being named the best Minecraft player, absolutely outplaying Sapnap, George, and Bad Boy Halo in Minecraft Hunter vs. Speedrunner, winning multiple Minecraft championships, and most recently, he achieved a top 10 speedrun on the newest update of Minecraft. However, is it possible that he cheated to achieve this? Let's look at the evidence. Dream rose to fame by creating fun Minecraft videos with his friends. Oftentimes, they would play with data packs he created to make unique scenarios. However, one of Dream's biggest videos was his 1.15 world record Minecraft speedrun. Using an unconventional strategy, he managed to beat Minecraft on a random seed faster than anyone had ever done before, and people loved it. Garnering over 12 million views, it was one of the keys to his rise in popularity. Dream went on to produce many other great videos and cemented his spot as the king of Minecraft. As time went on, it seemed that Dream had left his speedrunning to the side, enjoying his spot at number one. I mean, why speedrun if there's nobody to beat? All until Minecraft version 1.16.1 came out. This version flipped the speedrunning community upside down. With the addition of piglins, it was now possible to trade gold for enderpearls drastically decreasing the times for one of the longest parts of the run. However, this trade would rely very heavily on luck, needing at least two 5% trades to continue. With this change, the world records started to go down. First, it was Nice Twice, who beat Dream by over a minute, achieving a 21 minute run. Then, Sizzler got the world's first sub 20 minute run. Then 17 minutes, then 15 minutes, the times were dropping. Speedrunners were playing and resetting 8 hours a day for weeks just to try and get the new best run. With all this hype, there was incentive to cheat. Some users were caught using set seeds, splicing runs. Dream even went out of his way to expose these fake runs. So the moderators decided to put a rule that all speedruns must be live streamed to be counted. A few weeks later, a notification pops up on Twitch. Dream has started speedrunning Minecraft. People were excited. Surely the Minecraft god would reclaim his glory on the leaderboard, but something was off. Whereas many runners would go world after world without getting pearls, Come on, man. Dream somehow managed to get pearl trade. <gasps> After Pearl Trade. <gasps> Pog? Okay. After Pearl Trade. <gasps> no way! After Pearl Trade. <gasps> Ooh, there are pearls. After Pearl Trade. <gasps> no way! What? <laughs> <laughs> I got pearls. Within a week, he had gotten a sum 20, something that had taken Minecraft's finest months to achieve. And the community rejoiced. Dream had proven his point. However, when you compile the numbers of all his trades throughout his streams, a pattern becomes apparent. A dangerous pattern. Chaos! Jesus, man! Look, I have something really important that I need to show you right now. Can it wait? I'm busy drinking my large glass of water. No, please, this is super important. The fate of the world depends on this. I mean, I have like a midterm to do. Listen, I do not studying. care. Come right now. Right okay. now, you need to see this. Fine, fine, okay, fine, fine. You know this speedrunner dream, right? Uh, sure. Look, I have reason to believe that he has been cheating in his speedruns. 
Oh my god, dude. When was the last time you left the house? September. I don't know. This September? Look, I don't know. Tell it doesn't, me the year. It doesn't matter, okay? Look, I compiled a spreadsheet, okay? Every single trade he made over the entire course of his streams. Are there any columns that stand out to you? Yeah, the uh, enderpro column in the middle there. Yeah. Much higher numbers. And the enderpro is the exact trade he needs to get a good speed run. Are you kidding? This is a straight-up conspiracy. But how can you be sure? There's only one way we can be sure. Ma we can create a binomial distribution to represent Dream's trade luck where a success is defined as getting a pearl trade with a probability of 4.73% taken right from the Minecraft wiki, and the sample size n is 263, his total number of trades throughout the streams. Then, the probability that he gets exactly k pearl trades in 263 trades is probability of k, or pk. This is the chance of success to the power k times the chance of failure to the power n minus k, times the binomial coefficient, which represents the possible ways to arrange the outcomes. Now, to find out the probability that within 263 trades, he got 41 or more Perl trades, we can sum pk from k equals 1 to 263. However, it is much easier if we use the complement. This is the same as 1 minus the sum from k equals 0 to 40, pk. If we put this into a calculator, we end up with 0 0.0000000000294694, or around 1 in 40 billion. 1 in 40 billion, a very unlikely probability, approximately equal to getting an ender portal with 11 eyes already filled in. Something that has never been seen in random seed Minecraft before, and probably never will. Actually, we can make a comparison. Drem's run was proven to be fake as his loading screen did not match up with the seed that he played. However, it is theoretically possible that his loading screen could have been wrong due to cosmic radiation causing a bit to flip. In fact, the probability of this is within the same magnitude. It seems too good to be true. His history of coding data packs, his dislike of the new speedrunning strategies, his reputation that needed to be upheld. Is it possible that he slightly changed the pearl trades to help him get a run faster? There's a lot of compelling evidence that seems to point towards Dream meddling with the pearl settings. As much as I want to believe he is innocent, these numbers are just too damning. With his speedrun history, plus his previous involvement in outing fake speedruns, and his anti-cheating sentiment, it would certainly be a shame if he decided to cheat, and I'm sure many people won't believe this. However, the evidence is there. I have compiled every single trade that Dream made throughout all of his live streams and put them in a video that you can watch for yourself. And I put a link to the spreadsheet in the description. Look at the evidence yourself and decide whether you think he cheated or not. But as for now, this remains a Minecraft mystery.